Hi. I am in the forested part of my farm um, where I uh, uh, we just sent out the sheep to this part of the farm. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the seven reasons why I invest in sheep. And stick around for number seven because I think it's the most important uh, in these times that we live in. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Natasha. I live in Panama. My channel is Panama Live Good on the Farm, where I work to be self-sufficient, uh, grow my own food, and live off the land. Um, so the very first reason I invest in sheep, and I have hair sheep um, because I live in the tropics. Um, they don't have the wool, um, so they're called hair sheep. Um, I am The number one reason I invest uh, in sheep are is because of their return on investment. Um, sheep, I can get a sheep at eight months uh, and they can get pregnant between eight and 10 months. And a you can have a baby in four and a half months after that. So if I, I basically could have two sheep within a little over a year. So that's two assets within a year. So if I, like I had sheep now for a little under two years and I've actually more than doubled my flock um, because each one of them have had a baby. <laughs> um, so um, that's the first reason I invest in sheep because I do like the return on investment. Um, the second reason is um, they graze. They graze my pasture as well as my forested area. I'm going to show you here uh, the forested area and see if you can take a look and see a few sheep here. Hola. So they eat the grass. They eat the weeds. They eat whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I like the rotational grazing because um, they get a variety of food in the forested area compared to the um, pasture area. So the second reason is the grazing of both the forested area and any pasture that I have. Um, the third reason is gonna be after they are eating um, is their poop and their poop is a great fertilizer. Um, it is one of the best fertilizers um, so it goes right back into the ground, into the soil, and I can grow more food. And in the forested areas, um, it helps with the soil. Um, and for my garden, I can collect and, and put, um, uh, it on my, um, on my, in my garden as well. So I'm not, I, I don't buy fertilizer, uh, just like I don't buy food for them because they eat the pasture. Okay, the fourth is gonna be, um, I could sell the lamb if I wanted to. Um, I am growing my flock, so I'm not selling. I am actually um, having baby lamb and um, acquiring more um, use if I, if I need to, but um, I basically, uh, if I needed to, um, because sheep are, it's a custom for them to have twins or even triplets, you know, I could sell um, if I needed to or wanted to. Uh, the fourth reason is going to be um, is going to be I could also sell them as meat. Um, lamb are very nutritious meat, and they not only taste good, but they have a lot of nutrients. A lot, of, uh, you know, they got the B vitamins, they got the folate, they got the iron, they got the zinc. Um, uh, so it's a good, good meat, and it's not a cheap meat either. So um, I could sell the meat. Um, let's see. The six is going to be um, hedge against inflation. And I say that because they're a commodity, and usually in times of um, inflation, uh, traditional um, assets – usually go down in price if consumer prices go up. But when you have agriculture type of commodities, um, they usually go up 
when prices go up because you can get meat from them. And you and right now in inflationary times, meat is more expensive. Um, same with milk. Uh, so they're hedging against inflation. And the very last seventh reason that I invest in sheep, and um, this is due to the times that we live in, I believe they're a great commodity to barter. Um, if we ever have another 2020 event or if we ever have a problem with currency um, and if we need to barter again like we did in long, long time ago, I think they're a great commodity to barter because, one, they give you the meat, they give you the milk, and if you have uh, wool sheep, they will give you the wool for clothing. Um, so um, in ancient times, um, sheep were known to to be very good for barter and um, um, it it is one of those uh, commodities that are, it's not hard I mean they're not as large as cows it's they're easy to make a barter um, goats are more boisterous sheep are just docile and and that's another reason why I, I invest in sheep so those are the seven reasons. Um, if you like this channel, uh, please subscribe and um, leave me a comment if you if you um, have sheep and do rotational grazing or if you have sheep and are interested in doing um, grazing in the forest I, or are doing it now. And I would love to hear from you. OK, thanks. Have a great day.